Welcome back to Phantom Brave. It looks like this is a matter of life and death. So we don't get a cutscene this time, and the map in this particular... Well, whatever you want to call it. So, this guy here is receiving protection that's going to give him a bonus to attack and defense, which makes him kind of hard-hitting, but it's really not the end of the world. And all these guys here are real powerhouses. Check out that attack on these guys. Uh, tell you the, the resistance on him. He's going to use resistance and intelligence attacks. But the kicker here is all of those weapons are drastically lowering their hit points. So we're going to run a rush over there and start hitting them before they get a chance to move. So I will lift this thing here and throw it. And confine. Let's do it. Ha, huh, that never gets old. And just for fun. We're going to need to take out those guys as well, and if you're not paying attention to your camera angles, it is kind of possible to forget they exist. Here's a fish over here that's invincible, so if you're having a really hard time with this map, one thing you can do is actually sneak your way around over here. Try not to upset these guys too much. And someone something that's going to stick around a while on there. But usually, it just makes more sense to kind of head on here. You'll probably use more characters than I am, but at this point, I'm so overleveled, it doesn't really matter. Nothing for him to target, so we'll get rid of him, and we'll move ever closer to these guys. I really need to get him a better spear. Yeah. Definitely could benefit from a better spear, but we're not going to judge too much. We're just going to beat somebody up. Who will it be? Apparently this round, no one. <laughs> well, it looks like Truth Flasher can't quite reach both of them, so... Giving us the old grudge bomb treatment. We did just enough damage to make him drop the rock he was using. Confine! And he's not really going to be able to go over there and do much damage, so that's kind of a waste. Oh, we had someone there that was alive. Oh, he still is alive. That's exciting. Sadly, this character still needs a lot more SP to be able to do all the things he wants to do in life. And it would also be helpful if he had a weapon that wasn't horrible. Come on! 
That starfish reminds me, we haven't really done a lot with starfish. Maybe I'll grab one for the next map and just have fun with it. My turn! Ha! Sometimes if I just stare at this thing, eventually I'll remember what it is I wanted to do. That's always exciting. It's over! Apparently it's not over because we don't do enough damage. You know what, let's just kill it. Maybe, maybe it'll respawn, maybe it won't. So this guy's gonna disappear and we'll probably get something out of it, but I'm not too worried about whatever it is because <laughs> a screwy skull. This isn't really a map we're doing because we want anything, this is a map we're doing to progress with the story. I really want that uh, blacksmith to become a putty blacksmith, so maybe that's something I can work on as well. Although, the truth of the matter is, this nice close turn. to the end of uh, the meat of the game doesn't make a lot of sense to start reinventing things. So we went ahead and that's going to get us through the third map. Next we're going to do Hall of Death, which is actually not the end of this. So stay with me. <laughs> 